Welcome, welcome, one and all. Uh, we're trying, we're trying something new. Uh, this is Chris, Jezebel, and John show, right? That's what we called it. That's what we're I'm, I'm just great at coming up with show names. I mean, uh, it, it's one of the ones we could ask. Uh, we could get it titled afterwards. In retrospect, I Excellent. think we should we should make it like what's that? We'll should rip the format off that. Alan Davies as yet on oh, yeah, as yet just come title. up with a title for the show. Since we have absolutely no goal, okay, I guess we'll no try and come goal. up with a title. That's a, that's a fair point. We'll just rip that off. I mean, rip everything else off anyway. Uh, the reason that it's Chris, Jesse, Bell, and John was because I decided to go in alphabetical order. Oh, okay. So if I put my name first, it would be. Oh, very right, clever. Like, well, you're, you so 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 it's Chris starts with a C, and then because you and I both start with a J, we go to the second letter. And you know that's where I stumbled and failed. Yes, everyone knows who alphabetical orders were. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know. There might be some viewers. Not the Dewey Decimal System. Exactly. That we're doing that next week. Anyway, I've got I've got my rum. I've got my rum. Does I've anyone got... else have a drink? Oh, you on the, the shots of um, whiskey again? This is rum. All right. Red leg rum. Rum is John's usual poison. Poison. Yeah. It's John's usual poison. Usual poison, Sean Connery. Is that a cup of tea, Jess? Kind of, yeah. Kind of. Now I'm intrigued. Well, it's um an infusion. Super. Super duper infusion. Yeah. Super duper. So, Chris, what are you on? What I'm always on, the brew, the iron, iron brew. brew, drink from a skull. One day it's going to be an actual skull. One day it's going to be an actual skull. Jess, With a bird you, you skull for have, shots. You don't have iron brew in England, do you? Well, iron brew, yeah. Do yeah, you? they have it. They've got it in Ireland as well. It's just not I as just popular. It's only Scotland. I thought that you had to come all the way up to Scotland for your iron brew and your potato scones. Wait, what? You, no, 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 you can't claim potato scones. That's Northern Irish. Potato bread, or fardens, as other people call it. Well, potato bread and potato scones are two different things, aren't they? Uh, yeah, they are. You can't get proper potato bread in Scotland. Exactly. Well, go back to, go back to Ireland then. No, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Jess, Jess, my Jess, Jess was coming up to Edinburgh for the Fringe for a little while, weren't you? You're coming up for it. You're considering coming well, up. I want to. Yeah, I haven't found anywhere to stay yet, though. Mm. Chris, Chris stays stays close to Edinburgh, so he'll be there. I stay in Glasgow. We'll be there. As long so. as you don't mind the smell of rotten corpses, that's all right. <laughs> uh, oh, death. A pile of hostels in the town, which are usually yeah, there's, good. there's some. There's actually a hostel on the on Grass Market, which is literally get up, go out the door, and you're at the fringe. Yeah, we'll find you somewhere. Oh, we'll cool. find you somewhere. Mm -hmm. so before we started, we were just commenting on t-shirts. Uh, do you want? Do you want? Do you want to see if anyone can guess your your, your t-shirt again, Jess? <laughs> you can't get yeah. it in, What's my t-shirt? Yeah, let's have a, well, we can't, well, we can't, see, it can't see it. How are we supposed to guess? You'll have to show the audience. Oh, right. I thought you meant the crowd. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Chris. Do you Chris, know what? I, I see it now. Like Field, now that I know what it is, I do you, see you it see now, I see Noel Fielding more. It's like yeah. Noel Fielding is playing that person yeah. in a sketch. Uh, there's, a, there's an opportunity for any of the audience to try and guess. Uh, if there even is anyone in the comments, yeah, considering no, no, this we've, was we've, unannounced. We've got, we've, yeah, we've, 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 we might not have anyone in comments because it was slightly unannounced, but we did we did give them a kind of two-hour warning, I think. So mm -hmm. so who knows? But uh, we'll give them, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to it, see if anybody can guess. We'll come back to it uh, later on uh, in, <laughs> in the show and see if anyone can guess. And then, you know, mine's is a lot easier. Yeah. Mine's is... Popeye. Popeye. Oh, I thought it was Alan Sugar. <laughs> Alan, what, Sir Alan Sugar? 
Serology. Yes, yeah. sorry, Sir Alan Sugar to give him his. As in the own apprentice. Thing. From the apprentice, yeah. I you thought can it was say, like, you, can, you can say it looks like Popeye, but you can't forget to call him Sir. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't look like Popeye. He looks like a scrotum, but. <laughs> Sorry, Sir Scrotum. Sir Scrotum. <laughs> I um, doff my hat. You're fired. Sir Scrotum. You're fired. <laughs> um, so we are we are streaming this uh, as 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 we usually do with Tight Terror Timer. We're streaming it on uh, Facebook. We're streaming it on Twitch, and we're streaming it on YouTube. Uh, it started off, when, when, it, when we started doing this, it always started as a kind of Twitch stream, and Twitch has our lowest number of viewers. There's like one person that follows me on Twitch that occasionally logs in and watches any shows that we do uh, on Twitch. So so really, since we started kind of broadcasting on Facebook, we've noticed more people uh, watching and, and, and commenting and whatnot. So this is... So this is just us, you know, we, 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 we were considering, you know, like taking the time out, considering taking the time out to maybe come up with an idea that the three of us could do together. And then I decided, why do that? Let's just, yeah. let's just no, go through. I was off for a week last week as well. I had a pal stayed up all week. I wasn't even thinking about, I wasn't even thinking about this week. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about this week either because uh, I had, you know, I had, I had a busy week. Uh, and a sad week, and I, I, and, and I couldn't even look at next week. You know, I was just thinking maybe there won't be a next week. I was really kind of catastrophizing. So uh, when you say you have a sad week, I started laughing because in some way I feel like your sadness is going to be funny. Well, well, <laughs> in some well, in some respect, everything that happens in your life. The way funny. that my calamity is usually funny. Yeah, yeah exactly. It is. It's just, that's what people, people, there's a German word for it, it's Schadenfreude, and yeah. it's finding, finding something, uh, taking enjoyment out of the misfortune of others. Uh, and I don't, and That's I don't think that, what comedy is, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. It's just kind of, well, well, there's been uh, recently, uh, kind of, Rowan Atkinson said that all, co- uh, Rowan Atkinson was kind of against kind of cancel culture and saying, that all comedy has somebody that's the brunt of comedy. I don't uh, know. I don't I think surrealism I, I, doesn't. Surrealism yeah, I doesn't have anything. Just, I, I don't necessarily agree with that. No, it doesn't but, make any sense. Um, also, I suppose it depends on who the brunt is, because some people, you know, if, if like the government's the brunt of your joke or whatever, you know, they, they, they can take it, but if you're like maybe saying something horrible about a minority or somebody with disabilities or based on somebody's sexuality or whatever, then I feel that that's maybe even, you know, that's different, you know. So if, even if comedy does have a kind of someone that takes the brunt of it, you know, I, I think there's there's ways that you can maybe point in the direction of, I'm not saying necessarily people that are deserving of it, but maybe people that, that you know, you, 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 you there's certain taboos that you shouldn't make jokes about, and 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 we won't we won't name them here. I'm not going to do that whole kind of. Going, you can't say anything these days, and then proceed to do a half an hour of saying stuff. It um, amazes me. It amazes me how often you <laughs> you look for like the topic that's like let's let's talk about. <laughs> it's like you do it, and you do it in such a way that like after like thirty seconds of starting, you can already see that you're you're like stepping over mines you're like let's try and get through this minefield without saying anything bad I, I, I don't what i would it. add to that though is that roast comedy is probably my my favorite well my favorite comedy to do but yeah one of my favorite comedies to watch and what's nice about that is everyone even the audience come to that with the understanding that they will get slagged off about any or everything about their person yeah yeah just and you don't go it. if you don't want that do you know anything about roast comedy? Roasting. Yeah. I've seen I've seen some on YouTube, like the one that it's on um the Jimmy Carr and um Oh yeah, the kind of roast battles type stuff. Well well Chris, Russell, you've done a bit of roast battles. Russell Brown and... I've a, yeah, I've done a few roast battles. They're 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 good. I'm supposed to be doing a roast battle next month, but I haven't heard 
from the guy in five months, so I might not actually uh, be happening. probably just quietly removed you from it, which is the ultimate roast. Have just said, Chris, the thing was, no, the thing was, so I, <laughs> I, Jesse, I quit comedy, let me see, in February, so four months ago, I quit comedy, and with, with the understanding that I would continue to do roast battles, and this guy was very keen to, like, <laughs> I've done roast battles before, and he was like, oh, you're quit comedy, but that means That's you can focus you. on the... Yeah, yeah, he's like, you can focus on the roast battles. That's awesome. And then five months and I haven't heard anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fine. That's all right. Uh, I, will, I will say, it's not that I can't do it. I'm just, well. well I, I, I actually would love to see you try and lay into someone like properly. I don't think I can picture that. I can't, I, not I, me I, or I, him. Either, I'm but, 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 but okay. John fully, I don't think he could, he could lay into he, people. We do the point thing wrong all the time, don't worry. It's good if to you see want, it's if you want a point right. If you want a point correct, just point the opposite way. Yeah, like, point, point, point right. Um, hang on. Is, is that right? Doesn't work up and down, though. That's, That's your good. right. Yep. So if I'm actually pointing, I'm pointing left, but it looks like I'm pointing right. Actually, for us, it looks like you're pointing left, but it's right. right see, that's right. Okay. Ah, this is utterly confusing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that left or right. Do you know what? Do you do that thing? is it. Do you do the thing where people do that and they go, that's an L, so that's yeah, left. Yeah, that's an L, so that's left. And that's and if you've got arthritis, this looks like an R. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's what's that song, um I smashed mouth, isn't it? I was look she was looking kind of dumb with her finger around the front. It's a the classic. Well, now, uh, That's a classic. I've got a really old um, photo of John Robbins when he was like in his late, uh, I don't know, maybe 27 or something when he used to come to the comedy club. And it's just a photo of him like with a little baby face <laughs> and he's going like that. Yeah. That's that <laughs> the um, All Star by Smash Mouth. Everyone knows that from Shrek. But growing up, I knew that from I the know. John movie. <laughs> The Digimon movie. And he goes to the <laughs> toilet and he's like, because he's Scottish in that, isn't he? He goes, yes. what a lord of rubbish. <laughs> what a lord of... <laughs> uh, as a Scotsman, I'm really offended by that accent. That was... it's, it's, not, it's not about the... Well, I didn't claim to be good at... <laughs> <laughs> to, to, be... to be fair, I'm not very what, my good at... version or, or Shrek's version? You should have uh, seen... You should have seen there. John... I done it the wrong way. Hold on, I need to go away from. You should have seen John trying to do uh, a leprechaun in one of our one of our things. Trying to do a leprechaun. Yeah, it's not class of cheating. <laughs> I don't know. I okayed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it it up to you whether he does a leprechaun or not. Shouldn't it be up to his? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> You thought that joke, didn't you? I did. No, I totally got it. I totally got it. I think. I, I think the reason that it's okay is that John, John has to get approval before he can before he can even look at another creature. Lep leprechauns are actually luckily on my my list. You know, when you're with your partner about uh, when you have a list with your partner about um, your once you're allowed to. Yeah, your considerations. And, and, and luckily, luckily, I've got I've got I've got Tori Amos. And just a leprechaun. Well, literally, yeah. luckily, because they're lucky, aren't they? They bring gold. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, it's supposed to be gold. you find the pot of gold, but what if I'm sure that leprechaun at the end uh, of the rainbow must must have you know that's remember that in Harry Potter when they have that liquid luck. I think that's what it is. They've they've, they've blended the leprechaun. I was going to say I didn't remember the version of Harry watching a version of Harry Potter where liquid spunk tasted of gold, but. <laughs> I don't think J.K. Rowling wrote this version. <laughs> exactly. Did you see this on the internet, Chris? <laughs> well, I don't I know why you use on the internet as if like <laughs> seeing it on the internet the, the bit that's not right. <laughs> seeing on the internet is exactly where I would have. The, 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 was, it, was it the Chamber of Secrets? <laughs> was it, was it, or was it the Prisoner of Ascot? Oh, yeah, where he makes that tonic, doesn't he? Yeah, it's in... Uh... Gin, uh, not gin. Um... Oh, <laughs> Harry makes, makes that tonic. Then makes yeah, I was just, if you say tonic, I'm thinking of gin tonic. 
<laughs> but it was like, wasn't it a uh, sort of yeah, I remember placebo that effect because he didn't really do it? No, he did make the gin. That was what the end of it was, him starting at the distillery. <laughs> <laughs> this must be one of the later books that I've not read. No, it, it was in the one... Was the the room? Room? But he doesn't Which really give it to him, does he? No, he doesn't. He just thinks right. he, that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what he gives him the old switcheroo. I should bring my son in because he's obsessed with Harry Potter and he'll be able to tell us. Has he seen the version of the Leprechaun? He has seen the version of the Leprechaun. No, that's the adult version. I'm going to wait until he's 18. I'm going to wait that's, the version, that's the version that John wrote and published. <laughs> Absolutely. So, imagine, that, imagine that if we discovered tonight that I've actually been uh, secretly self-publishing Harry Potter erotica uh, for the Kindle. Harry Potter erotica. Potterotica. 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 That's the name of the genre. Potterotica. Was it not right? We're kind of we're already. Gin and Harry after dark. Ginny and Harry after dark. Ginny and Harry. Put the gin. I'm pretty sure she said that if she could go back and write it all again, she'd make Harry go with Hermione instead because that just made more sense. It's true. It did make more sense. Oh. Ginny's awesome. Uh, Hermione and Ron got together. Do you like that fact? Uh, yeah, I think. I like yes. I'm just saying that's what she said. She said she would she would change it if she could. Well, she can't. <laughs> well, you can't. Well, the I sure can. They hate she each other can. right from the beginning. It's like that thing, you know, where yeah, you know, pulling and stuff. Well, they. I really. thought. As soon as I read it, and she's being all snotty towards him, I thought, oh, I see where this is headed. I yes. thought this is headed in I 11 mean. years. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's 11 years away still. But I'm the exact same, Jess. That's what I thought. I thought, I you know, they're a wee bit too nasty each other. They clearly uh, fancy one another. And with Ginny, she's like, she's not really in the first book very much, but she's like this little girl that's not gone and she's like oh I fancy Harry Do you know I get the exact same vibe it's obvious, isn't it? I get the exact same vibe from Legolas and Gimli from Lord of the Rings Lord of the Rings <laughs> well they won't they it could it could well, it could I, which one I, sorry in a... the, the dwarf and the elf <laughs> Gimli and Legolas and, and Lord of the Rings <laughs> Just Have you not seen Lord of the Rings, Jess? <laughs> yes, but Gimli and Legolas. Yeah, they, yeah they're, they're, they're always they're, fighting, you know. They're 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 always fighting. And in the, in, in the third film, uh, Legolas finally gets That's his yeah. top of dwarf. The elves, hold on, I got a question about the lore, John. The elves reproduce? They must do, because Aragorn had an elf lady. Yeah, they do, they do reproduce. They right. do, yeah, because... She gives him the necklace and gives up her immortal life, doesn't she, to be with him? That's right. That's right. Well remembered. Yeah. Right, Cause, isn't it? yeah cause I thought that I they were immortal that. for some reason. Why would immortals have kids? But no, no I guess they're not immortals if they can give it up. I right, we, sorry, Jesse, this is something that, that happens a lot. We will drill down into the lore of Lord of the Rings. Oh, go for it. Yeah. Uh, oh, Hang on, I've got something to show you that you might like then, if you're a Tolkien fan. Yes, no, I'm a Tolkien fan. Mm -hmm. Very special book. And it's been around the block quite a lot. Hang on. No, that's upside down. You were worried about Oh, yeah, the Hobbit. That's an ancient copy. How old is that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Seventeen. Very... Yeah, that yep. falls off. Regularly has to be set and taped back together, but um, that's it's like of a well book. sketched. That's Smaug. That's oh, fantastic. Yeah. I like that. Mine. Oh, mine. My precious. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, just... Anyway. My, 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 my father. <laughs> My, my father bought me a copy of Lord of the Rings when I was ten, uh, and it was it was a limited edition. 
and my dog tore it to pieces. <laughs> Fuck's sake. What kind of dog was it, though, more importantly? No. Yeah. It, 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 evil it, dog. It was an evil dog uh, and tore it to pieces. And do you know what? Murder. I ever had the heart to tell my dad. Oh, you never told him? Never told him. So tonight's the wow. night, Dad. If you're watching, no, he's dead. It's fine. <laughs> it's uh, beyond uh, the grave. <laughs> but what, the never, dog? I'm not surprised if it did that. I, I assume. The, I assume the dog. The dog's dead too. <laughs> the dog's dead. Yes, yeah, shortly after that. The dog's dead. Who's going to say it did that? So I, I bought another copy. The dog disappeared. I, I, I had to buy another copy, and it was obviously not as good a version, but. Uh, I just, you know, I can't believe I've not really thought about that in years. Uh, God, the blues are back, guys. You'll need to help me out here. <laughs> just kind of like, dog's dead. Your dog's, dog's dead. dead. My dad's and dead. And with that new copy, all of your hope died too. But I, 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 I read it. I read it. That would have really broken my heart if I do that. It broke my heart. Um, I read, so I never, I never had the heart to tell him. Uh, I read the. I managed to read it once. I managed to read it all the way through once, and then uh, my dog tore it apart. And then I had to get another copy. And I've actually made a point because it's so important to me. Because my dad absolutely uh, meant the world to me. Uh, I, I make make jokes constantly about my dad uh, because uh, if you knew my dad, he, he wouldn't have expected any less. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it, it broke my heart that that happened, and. Uh, when I when I got it I, and I, I read it the first time, I vowed that I would read it every year. And sure Did, enough, um, even when I bought another copy for myself, I've read The Lord of the Rings every year since I was ten years old. John, the, the dog takes like a year to read that? anyway. What's that? I said takes like a year to read. Takes <laughs> like a year to read anyway, doesn't it? So you just I'm, like constantly I'm, be reading it. I'm quite, I'm quite, a, I'm quite, a, quite, quite a quick reader. I read a lot, and I read a lot. He does read I, a lot. I, I, I don't, I don't sleep very well either. So, so I read a lot in the morning. So, so you're absolutely right. It, it, it is because it's nearly one thousand. Well, my dad, this is really weird, right? I, I can actually still tell you the copy that my dad bought me with the appendices at the end was one thousand and ninety-three pages. Obviously, you get different that. versions of it that are slightly longer, slightly shorter, dependent on the kind of typeface and stuff. But I don't know why I can still remember 34 years later that my, the, the copy of Lord of the Rings that my dad got me is 1,093 pages. I don't know why I still remember that, but it was. Uh, uh, but so so as, 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 it's a long collection of books. Uh, and I do. I, 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 still, I still read that every year. I even read that every year. And I, I actually usually at the end of the year publish all the books, you know, like on, on Facebook. I publish all the books I've read. Uh, yeah. And I don't put that on every year because people kind of go, oh, you read that last year. And I, so I, I usually just publish that every two years. So that it's people like you're reading the same book every year. But that's why. So it's because of my dad. Because my dad. Uh, two hundred odd books, isn't it? Usually, clear in a year, like two hundred. I usually, I usually get between about a hundred and hundred and fifty. There you go. I what? was over. I was overestimating with two hundred. Yeah. I'm currently. I can. Uh, I'll just. I'll just. Right now. Right now. It's today's the twentieth. Twentieth. Monday. 20th of, today's the twentieth of June, and I've started the book eighty three of the year this morning. Oh, Jesus. So I've got my I've got, I've, got, I've, got, I've, got, I've got my list. I've got I, I I've just I've just started and by the way it's purely for completionism because I have read it before. Uh I've started The Girl in the Spider's Web, which is a sequel to The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo trilogy that was written by somebody else after the original. Oh yeah. Idea. Yeah, so so I've 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 read this once before and was thoroughly underwhelmed by it. But because <laughs> I've just kind of finished the Millennium trilogy, I've started this again. So just just, just to get story. to the end. So, uh, John, how many how many books has your dog got through this year? <laughs> yeah, I don't have them in a different room. room. That's why I became a cat person because cats <laughs> don't tear your books apart. No, they just read them and then judge you for having a small mind. <laughs> cat, cat, exactly. Cat, cats. Good. This isn't Nietzsche, is it? But uh but I mean so 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 yeah so uh yeah I do I do like a bit of a read uh as you can probably tell from 
from from the nonsense I've just spouted it for the last twenty minutes. Uh, how many how many uh, comics are you up to to read in your DC oh, well, comics yeah. progression? Okay. <laughs> we he brought this out. At, uh, we were at a bar not too long ago. <laughs> we were at a bar, right? Okay, Jen. Jen I'm, I'm a bit of, I'm a bit of a comic book fan as well. I don't know what your take take is on comics, Jess. Do you like comics? Are you for comics? Are you against comics? Yeah. Who's against comics? I don't know. <laughs> only only Christian like books parents. or comedians. Books, comic books. I like comedians as well. Not all of them. Not all comedians. Hashtag. Uh, but uh, so 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 recently, uh, for for years, I've been in Marvel Unlimited, which means I can read. Marvel's entire back catalogue, uh, and I was always waiting for DC Comics. You know the people that do Batman and Superman, etc., to come up with come out with their version. And they 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 come out with uh, uh, DC. It's the equivalent of DC Unlimited. It's called DC Infinite. So they've got not the entire back catalogue, but they're they're still building up. But they've currently got twenty five thousand plus comics that you can read through this app. Um and and uh, I started I started a kind of deep dive into comics and every time I'm reading a comic if, if there's a point where somebody mentions something and there's a little asterisk and it says see I don't know Superman forty two or something I kind of go oh well I'll need to read Superman forty two now and I nobody that. else does that nobody yeah. else like nobody, nobody, nobody else does that but right I now, found my, that really confusing my list of comics to read right now. Haven't started this off and thinking that I would read, you know, my 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 to do pile is currently one thousand four hundred and forty three. <laughs> I don't know down if bit, you can see that. Down a bit, down a bit. Oh, one thousand four hundred forty three. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, the problem is that every time I'm reading a comic, mad, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. every, every, every time I'm reading a comic, some bastard says. Do you remember that time when the Flash fought Captain Cold? I've got twenty issues of the Flash three. Uh, uh, so, 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 so it's it, it's an uphill struggle, but I'm standing by it because because I also have serious OCD, and because I started doing it that way, I can't stop. It's like an addiction. Yeah. Oh. So, so I mean, any normal person would say this is now insurmountable. You will never get to the end of this. You have to just stop. Maybe just stop with your weird addiction and the way that you do things. Don't do it anymore. Start from scratch and just enjoy it. That's what but she said. I'm, but now I'm just kind of going, and I can be like four pages in, and then it'll say, this is set up. Which might say, it. seriously, give it up. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I can't. <laughs> And it's real, it is an addiction. Yeah. I don't have any other addictions, though. Whatever you want to have a dad, don't they? <laughs> yeah, I John's just... books. John's is drinking books drunk. <laughs> exactly. Just, just, yeah, drinking, 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 drinking books drunk. Yeah. Oh, you said so drinking cool. books drunk. Drinking, <laughs> drinking books drunk, yes. Thanks he just books. drinks those books. He... It gets them blended, mixes them with rum. Yeah, I mean, I mean, three books drunk this year. <laughs> but, <laughs> Drinking um, books drunk. And you know, believe it or not, I also binge watch lots of television. I don't know when I have the time for all this. And I usually work about nine hours a day. My kids have Just, forgotten me. They don't even know me anymore. This I is why you still haven't done the tutorial of, of Blood Bowl 2. I know that, that that's why stop I'm not reading comics and start playing games with me. <laughs> exactly. Sorry, that's absolutely right. And a stream. So, I d I... and then my friends say, "Why do we not see you anymore, John?" This is why. It's the kids, man. Because he's too busy doing shots of rum and reading. <laughs> too busy doing shots of rum and reading. I do. Do you know what my, what? my, my, my drink of choice when I'm reading is a red wine. I do like what? It. obviously. Is that what you'd get at the pub? If you go to the pub, would you order a red wine? I like a glass of red wine while I'm reading. Oh, red wine! Just, just, just as a caveat there for a second, if any of my work colleagues are watching, I know I said earlier on that I usually like to read before work. I'm not drinking red wine then. 
It's usually if I'm drinking in the evening, I have a wee glass of red wine. Do you take cheese with it? No, oh. not cheese. No, I, just, I do. I do. I do like a wee glass of red wine and and a, and a book. Mm. And I, I had a, I, I, I've been I've been I've been eating this last week. That's been my advice this last week. Eating. My You've buddy been eating up. last week. <laughs> That's the first time we tried it. Did you? Yeah. Like yeah. It? The rest of the year. Well, just, eating. The rest of the year, I just breathe and you know carry on. I'll get hungry every <laughs> now and again, but what, but. I decided to try it last week and my buddy was up um my buddy's like quit everything so he's like um, his only vice left is eating and we had two tear coats every day for a week and i have i can actually see the weight that i've gained on my face in a week i don't think you i don't think you've put on weight oh i did the bathroom mirror says so but it's it, it has been incredible. I, I I had went to a French restaurant and like this like ca- the Petit Cafe, the French most original French. the most original French name I've ever heard for Le a cafe. Petit Cafe. Le Petit Cafe, but they're they're in um, they're in Edinburgh and they do they specialize in oh, gal- yeah. was it galettes and crepes? So like a galette is a crepe, but it's yeah. savory. Savory. So they, yeah, all sorts of different things. And they have these like crepes that are just amazing, but they had a pistachio one, and I had it twice. <laughs> we went back every day for a week. So I, I, I'm going to say something controversial here. I prefer savory crepes. I looked you in. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to go like say something ludicrous. Like, I'm going to say something controversial here. I, 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 I like a, I like, I like a savory crepe. Yeah, uh, well, there's no such thing. The galette. The galette. There's a galette, uh, but there's no such Okay. <laughs> I like how we were both we were both ready on that Are one. <laughs> I like a savory crepe. Well, you also like being yeah. wrong. Let's <laughs> 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 Oh, um, yes. Do you have any vices? You know, I, I like I like I like drinking. <laughs> I like drinking. Chris likes eating. Do you get any vices? <laughs> Not the question I thought you were about to ask. <laughs> so, you would like have you ever been in trouble with the law? Have you, that you would hear on, like, obviously, obviously, if you've ever killed a man, maybe tonight's not the time to mention it. But if you get, you know, I, I, I like, I like, I like, a, I like a, a glass of red Killing wine. Killing people it's, isn't a vice; it's a guilty pleasure. It's a guilty pleasure. Chris likes eating. <laughs> Is there anything? What do you like, Jess? I like eating. I like eating as well. Eating's great. I had an absolutely delicious. Yeah, eating is good. Yeah, uh, I'm a got, big fan of the eating. Mm. Wasn't my you know what we should do when we're all in Edinburgh? We should all eat. We should all meet up and eat. Uh, I think that was part of the plan that <laughs> for was, most people uh, that I'm come just, to Edinburgh. Just, they plan to eat. I'm just thinking. Got together, just and we could like cause mayhem. Just every day, go go to a different restaurant and cause mayhem and just piss around. I don't know. It's not I, hard to cause mayhem during the fringe. All you got to do is throw a pile of loose. Tell like really, performer. really loudy <laughs> stories, loudly. I'm that, see, I'm worried that now you've said we should go to a different restaurant uh, every day, and Chris says, "Well, I can't because I'm going to Le Petit Cafe." Le Petit Cafe every day. No. Le Petit Cafe. Le Petit Cafe. We'll run some. We'll run some scams on them. The hairy okay, baby scam. You get a baby, you cover it in super glue, you cover that baby in hair. And <laughs> you, you, you sound you, like a psychopath. You, I'm gonna you, get you, a you, baby, cover it in super glue. <laughs> super glue and hair. Then you go right. into a pub, you have a couple of drinks, then you reveal the hairy baby, and then they ask you to leave. They say drink up and leave, and you don't have to pay. <laughs> that's okay. So that's one scam. The hairy baby scam. <laughs> I want to try that. <laughs> Where are we yeah, a real live baby, or yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Like, we'll borrow it. We'll borrow it, and we'll give it'll it. It'll be a live baby, of course. We'll, it'll be a live baby. We won't ask permission first. You're just gonna go up to the... run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll just just for the evenings, I can cover it in super glue. Oh sure, yeah, of course. No, no, no just, just for a laugh, just, you know. We don't ask because they'll say no. 
<laughs> we just take the B and B. I but but the thing is, I know I know lots of. You I went to and take it out of the pram. Yeah, just. I don't. I don't <laughs> think we need to do that. I know lots of people. And they go like this. You, you take it out, and then go. Yeah, they'll never notice. Oh, ah. Mingo. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's excuse me, ma'am. You're gonna have to you leave. Bring, the flamingo is disturbing the other guests. Yes, you bring your toy flamingo up, right? And then you know that's the plan. But I will say that 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 all the parents that I know, that within six months of having a child, they would happily. Oh, oh they it's might like, notice, but it's too late because we've legged it. You've legged it, mm. and then they realise that the baby flamingo is a lot easier to deal with, and they Do don't you know, even call the police. We could cut our work in half if we. If we Why are babies so quiet? <laughs> they are. Uh, they are under certain circumstances. Uh, but you're we, we could scout them, scout them at barbers, because that way the hair's already there. You just cover them in pit stick and roll them. <laughs> roll them over a barber floor. Sorry, I've That's like some Jesse. sort of cold <laughs> ritual, doesn't it? The best way to make John laugh is to get the most ridiculous mental image in his head possible. It's very easy. <laughs> the, mention, okay. mention of a hair, mention of a hairy baby, and you're like, what the "Fuck, mention John is already baby, gone yeah. from the mental image." <laughs> it's because what have you, know you done what? this week? What, what this <laughs> last what? week? You know, you know why? God, what? I f- the the thing about a hairy baby is the fact that you know, Anna, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to tell you something right now. How hairy are you talking? Like, I love how you got like two Other different hair. prompts for like Other for like stuff hair. to move on to, and you're like, no, 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 no. Let's really let's really work on this hairy baby stuff. No, no the reason that the, I, I find it slightly triggering, right? <laughs> uh, because, Sorry, yeah, I, 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 can't believe, I, can't, I can't believe that I'm admitting this to you guys, right? But but do you know, be like a baby baboon. When I was a baby, a baby, yeah, well, I mean, that would probably be easier. Like, <laughs> you were really, really hairy. Steal a baby baboon and then pretend it's a hairy baby. And then you can just basically, there's no anxious parents. You don't need to find a barber shop. You don't need to waste money on glue. Yeah, but then you, now you've got to manage, now you've got to manage a monkey. That's I was going to say it might be less painful on the nipples. But actually, <laughs> if it that only works if it's a toy because... Can you imagine having a a baby baboon stuck on your nipples? Depends on its well, technique, I, can't I know. suppose. <laughs> <laughs> but but go, 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 go back to what I was saying. I'm, I'm going to admit something to you guys when you're talking about hairy babies, and, and I do fi- I do find it quite triggering because and it's I, funny I, that you I, say I, that again after we just believe, talked I, about nipple stuff. I, know. I can't believe that I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to tell you this. You got to get that out of his head. See when, I, see, when I was a baby and when I was born, I was completely bald. I had no hair whatsoever. <laughs> Did no. you have to get transplants? Had, so I was like this little bald, hairless thing. And, How can and, John get hair plants? He did, but Probably. it wasn't when he was a baby, to be fair. <laughs> it's true. They didn't have the technology back then. It was like, <laughs> it was like spider legs. Like sweet. <laughs> But it was great because when you How watch old were you when you got hair? I've never really thought about it till now. Uh, <laughs> one, one, one day I just went. A couple of years ago? No? I was, I, I've actually got a really good head of hair. He's, uh, he got it when he was 29. I got it when I was 29. Um, I was just. My, 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 my going go, go, go back to my dad, as I do, it's like a wee kind of callback. My dad had hair down to here. Oh, okay. Uh, he'd hair down to mm, here. My dad did as well, like in the late sixties, like Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, well, he, he just, he just, he just kind of hair just grew. He was like, you know, you know those toys that you used to get where you could press a button and the hair would go. So my dad was mm. like that, and, and and he even managed to keep most of his hair during chemo. Really? Did you have one of them? Did you? He was just like. It was just like uh, there was. I, I'll tell you one story about my dad, and then we'll go back to hairy babies. <laughs> yeah, we could. Like, we couldn't possibly move on okay. from hairy babies this day. Yeah. Move on. But I, I, I'll tell you one story about my dad, and this is a one hundred percent true story. As are most of the stories that I do. 
I do tell. Sometimes I embellish them slightly, but there's no embellishment whatsoever in this tale. It's better uh, with embellishment. You just there, get there, carried there, away. No, yeah, yeah. Open, John, remember to open with the fact that your dad had three PhDs. He was <laughs> just like, to embellish everything but the details. Embellish. Of the story. I mean, he was, he was, he was the cleverest man I know. My dad was well over six hundred years old when the story started. Exactly, and then and then he just he, 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 he didn't die. He just moved on to the next universe. Yeah, he just passed on to the ethereal plane. Yeah, absolutely. So 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 my dad, my dad. Uh, Always kind of grew his hair long, and there was a point where I just it's thought, not a universe. I the universe. the galaxy. Yes, that's classic. Where, that is where where John's dad moved on to. I'm 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 I'm, I'm going to now go off on another time. You like the number forty two? You like? Well, I'm, I'm going to talk about the number forty two now. Uh, my, See, my, his dad was when yeah. <laughs> when he yeah, had that, John. That, that's it. But I, I'm I'll I'll. I'll at some point, I move back to the dad story. I feel like I'm kind of, uh, but, but I'm now going off on another tangent because because of uh, what Jess just did. There was I think it's just me and Chris trying to distract you. Yeah, yeah it's can. so easy. Yeah, you just, just, you just, it's like a juggler. Yeah, just throwing more balls, and he just yeah, keeps yeah, going. Can, I mean, like a jungle in here. That's why people think it. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so, so, so on my forty-second birthday. Oh, I can remember. I, I couldn't remember the rest of the song. <laughs> it's okay. We don't need to perform it. Plus, we couldn't license it even if we did. <laughs> I didn't give it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we've discovered that if you do start singing, you can't be too accurate or else the stream will be taken <laughs> off for copyright reasons. But, uh, so, 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 so don't also, get too it's accurate. better to not sing the right words. It's bit, well, well yeah. I, I, I never sing the right words anyway. But, so anyway, so now my, my fourth tangent. Oh, funny then. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so my forty-second birthday, somebody got me a a a, a a a badge that said "Don't panic." Badge, right? Uh, but my oh, in large hundred letters. My my they, they were, yep. So so I, I probably still got it somewhere. I'll find it for the next one. But my my neighbours, my elderly neighbours, and Chris will find this funny because they knew that the number forty-two was related to something. And they couldn't quite remember. And they knew that I was a bit of a kind of sci-fi fan. And they it's were obviously... The answer, isn't it? To life, the yeah, universe and everything. Life, the universe and everything. But so, so they knew 42 was important. And then, they, so they gave me, they gave me this, they gave me this uh, card for my 42nd birthday. And it said, Dear John, for that is my name. And it said, Dear John, happy, happy Red Dwarf Day. <laughs> I'd be happy. Ooh, red like wall. <laughs> happy red so wall. They, they, they just went, it was a funny sci fi show. That'll be it. <laughs> and rather, rather than wish me a good. It doesn't get much better than, than mixing sci fi and comedy, does it, really? I mean, that's Almost genius. Not, not many class. shows do it you well. Yeah, not, not many shows do it well. Not many but, shows. But you watch a TV but... series of this. There was, was a, you ever watched a TV series? That, yeah, no, I, know, I remember there was a movie. I think I watched it. There was In the seventies, TV series. Oh. Uh, there was a BBC. The BBC. And then they dramatised it. Series. It was originally a radio series, and then they made a TV series. Yeah, In fact, it was a radio series before it was. You a didn't say actors and actresses. Mm. Yeah, I think it was a radio series before. Oh, it was, and, and the the theme song is by the Eagles. It was. Oh. It was the journey of the sorcerer, is it? Sorcerer, yeah. And it's a great. It's about okay. seven and a half minutes long, and it's a great piece of music. Seven and a half minutes long. That's like my brother. Yeah. Right? You know, yeah. you know when you're in the car and and you have Longer, like, you have an aux cable and and everyone like walking. I just love listening to. It. I've got it on tape. I've got it on cassette tape. I've got. <laughs> I've, I've got it on my phone, which I can't play right now. But sorry, Chris, you were you were saying something about an ox. I was just saying that like songs like that remind me of my brother when we would always an ox. And, like the ox cable for for yeah, auxiliary yeah, cable yeah. for for a car, and uh, you plug it. Would always, oh, ox! Yeah, yeah. We'd always we'd always queue up. You I thought you said ox. Song. You know, like yeah. a <laughs> ox music, like an oroch, like a bison. <laughs> 
yeah, well, we, you'd pass it around. So you do one pass, everyone queues up one song, and then you do another pass, you keep doing that. My brother, we were listening to the song, he was just sitting, my brother's guitarist. What, passing the ox around the room? It was yeah. Just, yeah, yeah, not the ox, passing the passing the phone around and they're all queuing up songs through the ox cable. And and yeah. he's sitting vibing to this song. And we're like, it's like, this song's been on for a while. How, how long is this? And he's like, 36 minutes. It's like, fuck off, let's get that song now. And we had to put a rule in, no song longer than five minutes. <laughs> Just because he took Oh, that's an on, awful role. Who puts nice. on like a who puts on like a Echoes by Pink Floyd? You know, whenever you're in a car journey, it's 23 minutes long. It's, no, it's a great track. I love yeah. I, I love Echoes. I love I love uh, Live at the Coliseum. It was a great version of it, but but it's not it's not car music. It's not. Oh no, absolutely. It's not everyone wants to turn. That's why the moon's quite good to have on in the car because that's quite mellow. Yeah, well, not at night, if you're wearing sunglasses. It's six hours. Not six at night if you're wearing sunglasses. Not at night if you're wearing yeah, sunglasses. Yeah, Journey of the Sorcerers. Six minutes, 37 Why would you seconds. be wearing sunglasses at night? To be cool. Blues Brothers. <laughs> uh, uh, this is not really much of an argument. I can't that. argue with that, to be fair. Yeah. That's why anybody would. <laughs> It takes just over. I don't think I would do. Sometimes I'll go down to the pub and think, "Oh yeah, people are going to think I'm really cool because I've got my glass sunglasses on." So it's night, and then I just get no, that look. No one ever. You know the look. That, that change with the that change with the sunlight, the sort of variable ones. No one has ever yeah. thought anyone looked. Oh, cool my granddad them. had them. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, oh, my ones granddad. That change, yeah. yeah depending on the intensity of the them. sun. Oh, wow. Yeah, because he had really bad eyesight, and so but he I, couldn't. Sorry, so instead my, my, of getting his sunglasses, they just. That's handy. Oh. My, my grandparents yeah. were 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 um, luddites, so the idea of them embracing any kind of technology like that's unusual <laughs> to me, which is why I'm struggling to grasp. <laughs> my, my, you know, I I got I I got the very vocal uh, contact lenses. So I just oh think it's really sunny and I just go black. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. No, someone should have like contact him. lenses. Someone should have been contact lenses that change eye colour depending on like the that temperature awesome. or something. You just get out of the blue go. <laughs> like a mood <laughs> ring, only for yeah, your eyes. Only for your eyes. <laughs> you never have one of them in the 90s. Yeah. Yeah. That I, would I, be I, cool. I get those, yeah. John's lovely till his eyes go. We should away. invent that now, and then by the time it's October and it's Halloween, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a we really won't have money. No, exactly. They should do. They should do. Obviously, uh, that much needed Halloween cash. They should do Neil paint that, that does that as well. They probably do. Probably. I think they probably. I, yeah, I mean, it would be. I was trying to think what it was. It's like Buffy the Vampire Slayer and and Vampire Diaries and stuff, isn't it? When they're yeah, like, they like have the black eyes. eyes. Also, yeah. yeah, yeah, they're just the the full no? black. <laughs> what was that movie I was watching? I was watching the movie in the cinema the other day. What was that? Everything, everywhere, all at once. Which you should watch. It's brilliant. But they have that thing where their eyes. Have you seen that, John? Everything, everywhere, all at once. I haven't seen it yet. I'm desperate. It's brilliant. To see it right up my I watched street. it. That was one of the things my pal, my pal had already seen it, and he was like, "We're going to go to the cinema." I was just thinking this. about who's song, but that no, that's a different one. No, this is a it's, it's a film about kind of multiversal theory, isn't it? Yeah, it's about it's about a family that owns a laundromat, and then about how the woman in the story, the main character, is like shit at everything and has had a shit life, but uh, sort of improves things because of these sort of multiversal powers she gets but it's not like a superhero thing it's really um sort of mind fucking and, and yeah and sort of deep in places it's very I good know. yeah i quite like mind fucking deep yeah yeah it gets it gets pretty mad because again mm. it's all about it's all about the as long as it's, it's not always, like disturbing no I no it's not disturbing no, I, not at I, all it's, it's actually quite funny <laughs> They're saying it, it, apparently they're saying it's quite beautifully made as well. Yeah. I'll say, yeah, do you is. know what, Jess? After this, I'll send you the link to the trailer. 
<laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's really good. I advise it. As you like the trailer, I've, I've it's not sort heard of, anybody say it's, anything bad about this film. They say it's amazing. It's, yeah, it's sort of half in English, half in Chinese, because the, the family that it focuses on are, are a Chinese family, and some of them don't speak English, some of them speak English. So it's like it's amazing. Even just like mid conversation, they'll switch between English and, and and Chinese, which I always find amazing to watch, especially in like. Languages that you don't, I don't have any like frame of reference with. Yeah. Like, like if it was French, I could pick up on words. And, so and you have to have the English. letters on the thing then. Yeah, they've got subtitles. Letters. Yeah, yeah. They've got subtitles, That's but it. the subtitles will like fade out whenever. So there's no subtitles when they're speaking English, but then it'll come up with a little bit of subtitles and then go away, or they'll be speaking entirely with subtitles and then it'll go away for one sentence and then it'll come back in. It's just always switching. But the. Like, did you ever seen that? Um... Oh god, what was it? Um, hmm? You went a bit, uh, you went a you bit squiffy there. What was it? I think it's Pan's Labyrinth. It's like entirely oh, in a different yeah. language, but yeah, no, I mean, Pan's Labyrinth yeah. was, was a very weird film. Yeah, no, I like that. I like <laughs> yeah, that it was good. It was strange. It was very difficult for me because um, I wanted to watch it really badly, but I'm dyslexic. So oh like, right, yeah, it's tough yeah. to tough to keep up with the. In the end, it was yeah. too much, so I just thought I'd just watch it visually and sort of try and understand by the pictures. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> what a film to try and interpret from have the you pictures. Not been able to like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> There's one bit I really like from the film, which is towards the end. I'm sorry if you haven't watched Pan's Labyrinth, but at this stage, it's your. Yeah, yeah. The bit at the end where, like, the dude who's basically what are they like? I can't remember if they're Nazis or Italian fascists. Well, Italian fascists were affiliated with the Nazis, so I think they were Italian. <laughs> yeah, Nazis. but they also predated the Nazis. But yeah, I think but, they were Italian Nazis. Ah, uh, Italian. Okay, fascists. right. Yeah, so, but it was set during the Second War. Yeah, we could. Talking about that. Nazis, not Nazis. Um, Nazis. Have you ever watched that? Um, what was it? Hello, hello. Yes. Oh, well, no. I, I haven't actually yes. ever seen that past me. No, I love oh, that. Oh, Don't you pleasure. I love the Lolo. That's hilarious. That was the Nazis, wasn't it? Because it was about the yeah. French spies and stuff. Yeah. I love the Lolo. I thought it absolute guilty pleasure. It was ridiculous. It had, it had the same sort of vibe and it was the same sort of era as um, Faulty Towers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't believe you've got like, you, you, you probably it. like that. You know, did you did you ever hear? Did you just watch like obviously Black Adder and Black Adder goes yeah, through, I love Black Adder. yeah, with, was yeah, set in yeah. the trenches. It was set in the trenches of World War One. I. I heard that the sort of they had an idea for another season that was supposed to be set in the Second World War, but in a prisoner of war camp. So the the idea is that every so it would be season, like a prequel. No, 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 it would be set it would be, it's different. set in the first world war, this would be set in the second world war. So the the way Black Adder seems to work is it's like Yeah, but it would have to be starts... a prequel because the Black Adder goes for on the yeah, last he... episode they they go over. That but was this... World War One. So it would no. have to be like a prequel, yeah, wouldn't no, it? I, that was I, World I know, War One, no, Jess. I know, but John, what Jess is saying, he dies can can canonically he dies at the end. Yeah, I know, but what yeah, yeah, but... they all die. It could be a yeah, song, but, but, that's the thing, because it would be... They actually died at the end of Blackadder. And Black Adder. who? They don't have a sonic screwdriver and regenerate. Yeah, no, no, Although but, that but, could be quite cool. But, it was, <laughs> but, but Black Adder, the way Blackadder always worked was that it was his, his ancestors and his, well, his descendants. Yeah. But, so but he each... dies at the end of Blackadder and he dies at the end of Blackadder yeah. too. So, but so the thing is, each season... Each season he so he starts as a prince, and the next season he, as it goes on, he seems to like he, he's obviously an idiot at the start. But each season he's he down. The first one, he's like he's a bit like the Baldrick character, isn't yes, he? Yes, he's yeah. Sort of he, the clown. He, he, yep. He's dumb in the first one, but each season his status goes down and the setting gets bleaker. So in the first yeah. season he's prince and and it's great. In the second season he's uh, he's a duke and and it's great yeah, or lord. Yeah, yeah. And then and he's then uh, a butler yeah. and it's kind of shit. And then he's a literal sergeant in in the trenches about to die. So it's it terrible. Happens. The only place you could go down from from there would be a prisoner of war camp. Yeah, it's like you're in war but you don't have any freedom. <laughs> But it, it would have been it would have been a descendant of the guy from. He Black would have Adam been. Fourth. 
So he would have time-wise, like, yeah. he would have either had to be his son like or his grandson nephew or, or his son or something. Yeah. And then but the one that I heard, which, which obviously doesn't fit with the dynamic, was that the idea that they had for Black Adder Five was supposed to be set in the sixties, and he was supposed to be managing like a really difficult mm-hmm. to run band, but it was like supposed to be like the Beatles. That's like the Mighty Bush season two. Yeah. So that's that. That's kind of what the original idea that I heard they had for Black Adder Five. Oh. Was that it, it was supposed to be? It was having to deal with us really, really kind of banned it and made it big, but they were really difficult to to manage. manage yeah, they were just wildcats. Uh, they did that Christmas special where he went to all sorts. They went to Rome and, and they did they, they, they did the the black it was a black a black Ad, black Adder's Christmas Carol. Right, which was oh, I saw that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. The, the the one that I think Chris is talking about, which wasn't a Christmas special, was mm-hmm. the, the one they made for the Millennium Dome. That's it. it is like had their back and forth, and he was that a time traveller. He went to Rome. He went. To... They did a like a one a sort of Christmas Carol, didn't they? They did. Sort yeah, they did. Yeah. This one is a Christmas Carol. That was because they they they, they flipped on his side as well because he was actually a really nice guy at the beginning. And they turned him into an absolute prick by the end of it. <laughs> it's like they're just setting the timelines, right? Yeah, I remember because watching. Quite funny though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I remember watching commentary for like a season of Red Dwarf, and it's like it's got obviously like the cast and that Craig Charles and all them talking, and there was a bit where they're like. They're waiting. It was the White Hole episode, the one where there's like a thing spewing time out, and they have a um, at the end they have to wait for the time space continuum to rewrite itself. And what, I can't remember the name of the woman that played Holly in season three and four, but she it just was, she uh, pauses for a sec. Hattie Heritage. That's it. She pauses for a second and just goes, "You know, I seem to remember we spent quite a lot of time waiting for the time space continuum to rewrite itself." <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking strange show that that happens like most weeks. I imagine working on like Doctor Who must be that's something that happens in a Hitchhiker as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah, I love the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah, too. don't get me wrong, I like Doctor Who. John's a big Doctor Who fan, though. John, John. You um, you do a stream on Doctor Who, right? Yes, stream on Doctor Who. Yeah, he loves his he loves the Doctor Who podcast. What's the name for Doctor Who people? Who 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 viums? What uh, is it? Virgins. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Fed. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, no, I've, 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 yeah, I've been a fan my whole life. It's embarrassing. Uh, I can't help what I like. Uh, I couldn't help what I liked either, and it was Karen Killen. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. I, I watched that season, and I watched, I watched, actually, I watched Christopher Eccleston, I watched David Tennant, and then I stuck around for Karen Killen, and when she left, I left. Oh, was that I'm you sorry. were going? You were done. Uh, I, I, I've been, I've been a fan since. What about Tom days. Baker? I know, I, I, I'm sure John loves Tom Baker. Well, he's, I'm only yeah, familiar well, with his Thomas the Tank Engine. Have you engine, never seen the one star. with Tom Baker? What did, what did Tom Baker? with the star. Well, I'm more familiar with, with, his, with, with him from as an aria of Little Britain. That yeah, but he had a multicolored star and he had a big yeah, hair. Yeah. I remember him, I remember him. He was a doctor from like the mid-70s till the beginning of the 80s. Mm. Is that the longest run? It was the longest run. He did seven seasons. God damn, Chris Ragus only did like one. He's a legend. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tom Baker's not my favourite Doctor Who. Who's your favourite? I'm not telling you. That's, oh, that's, for, another, that's for another po- That's for another stream because <laughs> we're nearly the hour mark. So you oh always my God. Is this a cliffhanger? Are you going to end on who your favourite Doctor end on Who is? John, who's John Carrozzi's favourite Doctor? This is a cliffhanger. <laughs> That's actually one that I want to know the answer to. Usually yeah, I don't yeah. really oh, care with our questions. Well, we haven't even asked each other questions much. We haven't. I know we just went off in a kind of... We kind of just talk shite. That's basically the remit of everything that we do. <laughs> <laughs> we just talk shite about shite. Nothing, nothing important gets said. Nothing... What's the most painful thing that's happened to you this week? The most painful thing that's happened to me this week? Shitting out all nothing. that, out all that Nothing painful. Out. 
shitting out all that takeout was very painful. <laughs> the most painful thing that's happened to me this week, um, apart from sunburn, look at this. Like, I like how red I am. <laughs> You're positively glowing, is it, twins? I'm positively glowing. Uh, do you see the but do you actually? I don't know if you can. It does it justice because I'm behind a red wall. Look like a thing. <laughs> we'll get, hey, look at that. John, look, like you can get John a neutral background. <laughs> can you can you see can you see how white it is around my eyes and then the rest of it is just red? Well, it just looks like low res and too much of your skin. <laughs> I'll send you a picture. Ironically, guys. right? Ironically, and try not to laugh. Okay. I actually burnt myself preparing to sunburn. Uh, to prepare it to some days. Wait, right. hold on. Yeah, You're the that? god of the sun? <laughs> <laughs> I just preparing some sunburn. How did you how did how did you do that? Yeah, how'd you oh, manage that? Well, I have this electric razor, right? And I was shaving, you know, <laughs> my bum. <laughs> I'm not the keenly line. Okay. I didn't realise that it was getting overheated, right? Because I'd had to charge it up first. <laughs> I didn't know that people shaved their bums, but right, okay. John, so rude. It's just in case you want to look in the garden, right? So. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then I was like thinking this stings a little bit. What's going on? <laughs> It burned yeah. like the skin. Oh, okay. so now, yeah, you try to say for like three days. I haven't had to put pseudo cream on my bum. You burned the <laughs> entire bikini, way yeah. along of your bikini line. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. It's an um, ugly so... wave. Not the... I'm just... The, the, the struggle is real. Uh... <laughs> This is why John always waxes his bikini line. Absolutely, I'm just. Don't even go outside. What I do, what what I do, uh, rather than rather than waxing or shaving anything, what I do is I get really, really stressed. No, you don't want to wax. You know, but yeah, it doesn't sound. Pulling relaxing. your hair out. Yeah, I just kind of go, oh, and it just all, and I don't even need to pull out; it just all falls out, just from the stress of it all. <laughs> And it's a tried and tested method. It's why I'm going to die young, but at yeah. the same time, I'm going to look amazing. Like it's I'm not why you're going to die young, John. You're going to die young because you're going to go out one day and forget your pills. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, that song only to did die young or something. Only the good die, die young. young. Yeah, that was young. that was what Rimmer said on that last episode of Red Dwarf before they rebooted everything. Yep. God, we keep going back to Red Dwarf. Yeah, I always do. Right, guys. Do you know that's been an hour? That's been awesome. I've been, I've, I've, I've had a great, I've had a great Monday night. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I didn't even read anything. You didn't Who needs anything? a direction or, or 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 points? I mean, if we if we do that, another one of these, that looks familiar to me. What is that? I was gonna read, wasn't I? Well, you, we should do another one of these, and and we we could we should actually make a plan for what we want to do next time, rather than just show up. <laughs> chat well, shit. You know, the biggest problem with me making a plan is that it never goes to plan because do you know I don't know if you know this, but I mean I, I came up with an idea for us like doing some serious hour of question every week. Yeah, and we That's usually right. talk nonsense for forty five minutes. <laughs> yeah, we get about on average ten minutes of quest. Ten minutes of quest. questioning. <laughs> Jess, have you enjoyed yourself? Yeah. yeah. Chris, have you enjoyed yourself? Done. I always do. Let's get a wee bit of a structure to this and do it again. Absolutely. And we can find out next episode who my favourite doctor is. Are we actually going to find out or is that like some big spoiler for the doctor? Have you said on the Doctor Who podcast? Oh, I reckon I know, but... Well, here's what we'll do. You can tell me what you... I'm not going to say. Is, and then Chris can tell me, and then I'll reveal it next episode. Jess, who's my favourite doctor? Is it Tom Baker? 
You'll find out next week. Chris, who's my favourite doctor? Chris never at You'll find out next week. Oh, no. Yeah, no, he wasn't. I'll probably I'll tell you him. I'll probably tell you. It was you good after. in our friends in the north, though. I ain't seen oh, that. I'm a joke. <laughs> All right. What? My, my favourite doctor, I will say that Chris, and then say, I'm joking. Chris is, Chris is definitely wrong because my favourite doctor is not a new doctor. He's a classic doctor. Fair enough. But is Jess right? Let's find out next week. <laughs> Guys, we'll come up with it. We'll come up with a thing. Oh, I came up with an idea. I'm not telling you. We'll come up with a title for the show and we'll see you next week. Bye. Guys, that's been Je DJ Jess Jess. Bye. That's been Chris Ashworth. And that's been John Carrillo. Hey, see you next week. Or some other time that we decide that we can all do this together. Bye.